Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Let's go ahead and keep going with FS port. We have now lost vital ground to the Shivans in the Antares system and Sirius. So, the uh, systems between the Shivans and Earth are dwindling fast. Looks like we're losing we pretty badly. The Beta Akule communications terminal. Aside from that single post, we have lost communication. Oh, so Beta Aquile is basically it. The following transmission was picked up by the Terran listening outpost in the Beta Aquile system. Okay, so finally, finally, we're about halfway done with the last act of the game, and finally we get context for those cutscenes. That's that ancient civilization that uh, they've been rambling about with those cutscenes. I mean, better late than never, I suppose. So this is not the first time the Shivans have destroyed a civilization. Got a little cycle of destruction of going on here. Uh, and so I guess For it's reason, uh, up to Alpha us to, to break the cycle or whatever. To the refugees from Altair. This mission will be facilitated by the new subspace drive we have received. For years, the GTA has tried to give a fighter... Okay, the apparently there weren't inter-system jump drives until literally right now. The GTA now. science colony at Seoul has finally been able to solve the puzzle. All GTA fighters are currently being equipped with inter-system subspace drives. Research and development have nearly completed Project Earth. Okay, and we've got a new bomber. ...that at defeating the Shivan Lucifer Destroyer. For those of you that haven't been keeping up, Project Ursa is an attempt to make a new type of heavy bomber capable of carrying the Harbinger bomb. We expect Harbinger. the will of Ursas will be Harbinger. available to you on your return trip That's to Malkair. That's just great mispronunciation. The Harbinger will assist us greatly in any attacks against capital ships. Until recently, Harbingers Maybe they're advertising B or something. With this project nearing completion, we may be able to finally defeat the Lucifer. You may and, or may uh, not disruptor want to use a new disruptor missile to assist you in the next few missions. It is the only missile in our arsenal which allows us to completely shut down a cruiser for a short amount of time. Okay, this basically that scrambles the systems. Uh, nothing I really am going to use too much. As uh, we will get to see it in uh, Silent Threat Reborn. All the outer colonies, That's a and lot of sheep and forces. Combined to nine systems that form the heart of Terran space. However, in what used to be the Sudan space at Altair, a group of the Sudan refugees has apparently unearthed records from a long dead civilization. Terran Command believes the information in these records to be of great importance. We have located one potential weak point in the Shivan barrier encircling us. The Deneb jump node to the Altair system is being guarded by only one cruiser, the Zenith. The Zenith is currently on patrol with just two wings of Shivan fighters, the Arjuna interceptors, and the Rama superiority fighters. However, we believe they are able to call in reinforcements. Shit, you think they'll have reinforcements with all those uh, extra forces? The primary objective will be to destroy the Zenith. Take out the Zenith's communication system first to prevent it from calling in reinforcements. 
If you're unable to do that, go after all weapon systems, including turrets and missile launchers. Alpha Wing will provide cover for the bombers. Gamma Wing will assist Alpha and will attempt to take out the communication system on Zenith. Beta will be equipped with tsunami bombs and will be targeting suspected weak points on the Zenith's hull. So in other words, they're just going to kind of fire at it because there's no real weak points. Stand by for further orders. Good luck, Alpha One. Okay, this might be a two-parter here because it might be a red alert mission at the end of this. But we'll see what happens. Uh, they're giving us the Ulysses and let's see, got an Avenger, Hornets. Let's go. They're saying disarm Zenith as one of the objectives, so I'm going to guess that they're expecting us to fail with that one objective. Oh, they actually even have it listed as the Zenith in the escort list. That's great. So I probably should have switched to a Banshee, but oh well. Yeah, 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 I always have a bogey on my tail. That's how it goes. Take this guy out. One thing I've always thought was uh, kind of interesting is, uh, you know, you've seen some of the similarities here between uh, Free Space and uh, Mass Effect, which actually I plan to do a Mass Effect playthrough at one point. But uh, just something I thought was interesting. I uh, just feel like uh, Bioware might be Free Space fans. So uh, when I do actually go through my Mass Effect playthrough, I think I will actually point some of them out. Let's see. Might as well hit him with some missiles. Well, that sounded bad. Actually, going to divert some power away from my guns here because it's. I've got more than enough power going to them to keep them fully charged all the time. And it'll be a little bit more helpful to have the engine power and the shield power potentially. Looks like the Zenith is getting pounded. There we go. I guess the Zenith must have been able to call in reinforcements because of the uh, new bandits. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that hard to deal with. I mean, we've only lost one fighter. And the Zenith is... It's not going down too quickly, but it's taking some damage. I'm going to try to reserve some of my missiles because I think I might need to assist with taking the Zenith out. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. The, the Zenith does name weird in there. Okay. Oh, don't need to worry about it because don't have to worry about the missiles that apparently were fired at me. Okay, that's everything I got. light, I guess I was wrong. Alright, so let's take this guy out. Light. 
Affirmative, sir. Disarming your target. Let's take this guy out. Roger, sir. On our way. When it's getting close enough, I can actually use my gun. I suppose the good thing is since uh, both of the guns I have will actually do hull damage, uh, I do get to do a little bit of extra damage from having them uh, set up like this. Let's just tell him to uh, blow him up. Because once he's done, we can basically just uh, focus on all the fighters and that Hammer of Light Cruiser and all that joyful stuff. Oh shit. Rearming sequence aborted. Roger, sir. On our way. Just wanna Roger order that, everyone sir. to just warm up on me for a second. And then going to stop. It does look like it's actually coming in here to try and actually attack, but uh I'm going to go ahead and just swarm it and basically tear it to shreds. Rearming complete, sir. Bring it to attack. Unless, of course, once it gets within a certain range, the sheepens come and blow it all to hell and kill us. Like, hey, right there. A few fighters, I'll bet they are sheepens. Nope. They are Hammer of Life. There's only a few of them, so I am going to take them on and uh, try and let my wingman deal with the Benedict. Oh shit! That was a lot of damage. This probably was not the best idea. In fact, I'm going to tell everybody to just break an attack. Because I don't think I can break through the fire screen by myself. I'm going to try and save my missiles for the Benedict. Which, uh, again, is a really odd name. I guess they're going for Benedict Arnold. Even though, uh... Arnold didn't, like, betray the U U.S. for, uh... religious reasons, as, uh... these, uh... Hammer of Light guys are doing. So it... I guess it makes sense as a traitor, but... It's really not that great of a comparison. All right, let's take this guy out. Hit him with everything we got. And you can see what I mean about cruisers, like, not liking these missiles, because they just... He's just getting torn apart. He does not have a prayer. Benedict is doing a great job, out of the one. Yep. Oh shit. I probably should have rearmed. Because, uh. Shit. I'm gonna go in with no missiles. As you already know, we are sending scientists to the Altair system to investigate records found on Altair 4. Command hopes they will aid us in our war with the Sheevans. The Rosetta is currently carrying the scientists. It will rendezvous with two transports. Omega-1 and Omega-2. All three ships should be arriving within a few minutes. Omega Wing will dock with the Rosetta as soon as they arrive. Oversee this personal transfer, then escort Omega-1 and Omega-2 to the jump node. Okay, so there's transport coming in and... Support you, support you. Nope, I'm calling him in. But we gotta protect this transport that's going to be coming in and 
protect him while he docks with other transports to take the scientists elsewhere because apparently that's less complicated than just sending the first transport in. Protect them and Omega 2. I'm going to have Gamma protect. Rearming complete, sir. No and then in the area. Epsilon will just deal with whoever. Well, let's take out these bombers here. Uh, lock, so let's take him out. Oh shit. I guess he must have gotten the countermeasure out. Doesn't really seem to matter because he's still going to die. These bombers do have a shit ton of HP though. They take a little while to take down. Shit, we got a bombs launched. So we need to shoot them down. Because the Rosetta is not going to take any damage. There we go. eventually get over here. I'm sure it's busy uh, rearming everybody. Up oh, here he comes. I mean, I don't really need that many missiles, but it's nice to uh, try to keep topped up, especially when dealing with bombers like this. So let me remember to Convert power away from the guns really quick. Because I really don't need all that power. Alright, and another bomber down. Omega 1 docking. Operation DC 90 seconds. Well, that is one nice thing. They used uh, ETC instead of ETA, which is something I see in a lot of games where they'll use ETA for everything when it's an estimated time. And, you know, it just doesn't make sense in context. Alright, let's get some more missiles here because I'm only down to 16 missiles. What the fuck? Okay, I guess somebody crashed into it and threw it like halfway across the sector. I've never seen that happen before, like in a regular mission. I've played around with the free editor that comes with free space uh, called Fred. Omega One, docking completed. And uh, I've had that happen a few times, but uh, never in an actual mission. Take out this bomber. while uh, Omega-1 runs away. I guess they're heading for the jump node, which is way the fuck out there. That's great. That's gonna pull some of my fighter escort.
right. So with all those fighters that have just been pulled away to uh, guard Omega-1, uh, which I kind of want to keep them on that just because uh, I'm sure that there's going to be bombers jumping in right on top of them. I mean, that's not from memory. That's just... Uh, that's what I would do if I were programming this mission. Is, uh have the transports get jumped while you're trying to protect things in multiple places just so you have to kind of maintain some control over your wingmen. Omega 2 docking completed. Proceeding to drop node. Okay, there we go. Take out these bombs here. I don't think we need to protect the Rosetta anymore. So, uh, see, I think I ordered Alpha to protect the Rosetta. I mean, there's not that many fighters left. Yeah. That's the Lucifer arriving. Uh, the Lucifer. Well, fuck. Lucifer likes to show up everywhere. Lucifer is launching fighters at our transports. Okay, so remember what I said about how if I were the developers, I would like uh, throw a little monkey wrench in there. I guess this is it. It's Lucifer coming in with fucking fighters all over the fucking place. And I only have eight missiles left. So this is going to be interesting. I have absolutely no idea if I still need to protect the Rosetta, but... Well, it's definitely moving away. Okay, good. It's gone. Okay, now I need to throw... Well, first off, let's cut engines. And, uh allow support to dock with us here. Because I need as many missiles as possible to deal with this shit. And while I'm at it, convert all power to the engines so that uh, can get there really quickly when support is finished docking. I'm going to have to make sure every shot counts because it's support's not nearly as fast as I am and it's going to take them a little while to get over into this area. Turn on speed matching again. Uh, hold down the accelerate key so I also uh, stay at full speed when I'm off of burner. Otherwise, it'll very rapidly decelerate. And I want to get in there as quickly as possible. Okay. back to combat energy settings here. And this is why I'm surprised with that one mission. They wouldn't, like, uh, spread out on it, because this is a pretty large field of battle here. There's just uh, a lot going on over a spread out area and of course this is again from the original engine so uh don't see why they couldn't have done a little bit better surprised that lucifer doesn't fire at the transports i mean i know gameplay reasons if the lucifer actually opened fire at our transports it would be fucked 
but that still doesn't change the fact that realistically, if you really want to stop these transports, you know, Lucifer's more than capable of doing it without launching fighters. And all we could really do there is sit there and shake our fists impotently at it. Lucifer's right here. What's to stop it from jumping to Altair? I mean, if it jumped to Altair right now, is there anything we could do to stop it? No. There's nothing we could do to stop it. So, I mean, there's... I mean, realistically, she even really wanted to stop these guys. So there's no reason they couldn't. And that's one of the things that kind of doesn't work from a story standpoint here is... You know, you give the enemy an invulnerable ship, and they barely use it. I mean, sure, they destroyed the Galatea, they destroyed Vasuda Prime, but, you know, there's an opportunity here to really fuck us over to the point where you, humanity would probably be extinct, and all they have to do is jump through that node there that they're right next to, and they're not. This mission is finished. Jump back to base. All right. Well, as soon as the objective comes up, you got a bogey on your tail. Let's get out of here. Fighter on your tail, sir. And I don't care because I'm leaving. You guys can go fuck yourselves. You managed to get. I got a commendation medal. Have I gotten one of those before? It looks familiar. Yep, the I've got two of those. The people will owe you a great debt. Well done, pilot. The crew of the Rosetta sends their thanks. When the Lucifer jumped in, they all but gave up hope of survival. Your squadron was able to hold off. We didn't even really fight the Lucifer. Credit. We just fought this, the fighters. The Lucifer had fired. I mean, it's more that the Lucifer is a bunch of idiots that they survived more than what I did. But hey, I'll take the praise anyways. If you'd like to give me free praise, please remember to subscribe rate, and comment. Until next time, this is Trekkie1701C signing off.